there guys, Trogdar here, and welcome to another redstone tutorial. Today I have for you a hidden crafting table in the floor. Uh, this also is just a simple block swapper, so you can change the crafting table to any movable block. So if you want it to be a chest, that's fine too. Uh, so if I press the button, piece of the floor gets replaced by our crafting table so as you can see I can go ahead and get into the crafting press it again and it's gone uh, so you can have like a hidden input if you want to hide like a chest uh, if you're just doing it to hide away the crafting table uh, you could probably just put a button out anyways here's the circuit exposed it's actually not too much bigger than the popular one on the PC. So if I press the button, switches over. And that's that. So let's go ahead and get on with the tutorial. Okay guys, this should be a really short tutorial. It's a very simple circuit. So what you're going to need are some blocks of choice. Uh, for whatever you want to put your redstone on it doesn't matter uh, but you're also going to need your flooring blocks too whatever you're using for your floor uh, you're going to need some redstone dust you're going to only need two repeaters uh, any type of input device so whether it be a uh, well this actually runs on a button so any kind of pulse based input so I'm just using a button for the tutorial you're gonna need a sticky piston you're gonna need two regular pistons you're gonna need one redstone torch and then you're gonna need whatever you wanna hide away uh, in this case I'm using a crafting table again it could be a chest in fact, let's just switch it over to a chest so you guys can see that work. It's the exact same circuit, just switched over to a chest. So, what you're going to do is you're going to create a 3 by 7 by 3 deep hole. That's what I have right here. Right in this middle line, all the way in the back, put your sticky piston. Then you're going to come out to this corner, place a block, this corner place a block, you're going to take redstone, place it right there, and right there. Then you're going to take your stick or your regular pistons, you're going to place one there and one there. Next, you're going to take blocks and just put them in this configuration. So they come out right where this dust is, all the way around. Good, take a redstone torch, put it on this middle block right here. You should see your sticky piston go up. And you're going to take redstone dust, not there, and place it on these five blocks right here. And you're going to take your two repeaters and you're going to place them like that. These need to be on four ticks delay. There you go. Uh, then you go ahead and put your whatever you're hiding away up there. And you're going to take two full blocks. Uh, this one just needs to be a full block. And then this one needs to be whatever your floor is. And then this one just needs to be a full block. Um, put that there it really doesn't matter it will situate itself out so the way this works well let's actually finish this up so basically you're just going to put a block above the redstone and then your button right there uh, if you have a hidden input you just hook it up to that line down there so now if I press the button it will switch them over and I'll explain why this works but basically you can just cover everything up like 
works so since this is a shorter video I can explain how it works but as you can see it works just like that so if we come over here reason why this works is uh, when you press this button it depowers this torch which takes this block and pulls it down uh, that's the first thing that happens the second thing that happens is it will power both of the repeaters now the thing with these repeaters is they'll power a full block that's in front of it so when you when I power this one right now it powers this full block which powers the redstone underneath it which powers this block and activates the piston so it moves over but since there's no block in front of this this piston never gets activated so if I press it once it pushes it to the left and if I press it again now that there's a block here this piston will get activated and this one won't so if you kinda you can kinda see the redstone dust there you'll notice that this one will turn on but this one won't well I guess it does at the very end uh, doesn't really matter because pistons won't move while there's stuff moving anyway so but yeah guys that's uh, how this works that's the end of the tutorial so if you guys enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful please leave a like and subscribe it helps out my channel uh, I know this has been giving a lot of people troubles uh, so there you go um, yeah and that's it for today guys uh, I will see you guys next time have a nice day bye